welcome back to the channel earth signs we finally get to do your reading and we got a different angle today mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we're going to get into your messages today we do have wind here so we're going to try and get these readings done in a less painful way as possible like share subscribe add value to the channel so that we continue to grow messages for the earth signs all right, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We got grounding you, Nine of Cups. And then we have a jumper, Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. That's 12. That's three. That's togetherness. That's creation. So someone could be finding you very attractive at this time where you're looking like a snack. Like wish fulfillment here. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Business owner, a CEO, or it could just be someone well off here very enduring feminine figure here then we have the king of swords strong silent type it could be on a cell phone this is literally what i'm seeing right now in front of me <laughs> an asian chick just literally sat on a log in front of me we have the king of swords we got the magician major arcana shows up we have the ace of swords so the king of swords with the ace of swords this could be social media surfing Writing some sort of a book or poetry. This could be an editor or content creator as well because the magician is out. Just Aries taking action and Gemini communicating. Could be a strong leader, right? Someone wants to do business or someone wants to collaborate. Getting to know you here, Two of Swords and Queen of Swords. Now the interesting thing is we have the King of Swords. Oh, already we have a twin flame, twin flame, soulmate union here. They could be uh, people with very strong throat chakras, very intellectual, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see collaborations, Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. So this is, again, happiness. This is lineage, fortune smiling, going from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. That's having, that's being content with yourself. And then, like I said before, when you, as a man, you want to start a family or as a woman, when you want to start a family or whatever big goal or dream it is that someone's manifesting this Ten of Cups for, this is happiness. We got the Five of Pentacles with the Magician. Mm. It could be a change up in the finances, a change up in the health, or it could be change up in the way someone do, does business. They go from one industry to the next, and then we have the hermit on top of the ace of swords. So this is research and development, right? You change from one industry, like for, for instance, me working in a context in an industry for 13 years, and then going to a different industry, which would be, I don't even know what it is, therapy? <laughs> what do we call it? Modern day exorcist, therapist? Then I uh, read oracle messages as well. It's crazy. There's definitely a difference, and I was contemplating this last night. There's a difference between being a tarot reader and an oracle reader. And we have the Knight of Swords showing up. Knight of Pentacles. Someone's learning a new business or something like that. This could be a small-time entrepreneur. Or someone sees it, possibly, right? The star card, which we film in Aquarius. Wish being granted. Someone being highlighted or illuminated. This is a star child or a celebrity. Eight of Cups, leaving behind attachments, possibly love, with it being the cup or the suit of cups, which is usually your intuition or your feelings, right? Your health. Comes out on top of the Five of Pentacles and a magician. Yeah, so this person is walking away from bad habits, manifesting something better here. This is soul retrieval, judgment. Someone's making a judgment call to go within oneself, learn itself. This could be like a DNA test or um, looking into your lineage, right? The thing about the pandemic, it turned everyone crazy. Um, there was a lot of domestic violence and child abuse. And um, now uh, coming into an age of enlightenment, it's more uh, that people want to find who they uh, really are deep down within themselves. And yes, people do spend a lot of time on social media and they detox. They use uh, social media as a form of therapy. But again, um, it's, there's toxicity, and there's, there's those, there are those of us that will be able to adapt to it. Like our grand, our uh, grandparents, they don't understand technology, so they'll look at it as like the devil's work or something like that, right? And then we go down in generations, and we see more of how social media or the internet has not even been around that long. What has it been? Thirty years. However, you have a twin flame union, though, so these people are the people that actually know, right? Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, they rule social media, right? They're very good talkers. They're very good thinkers. They're very good orators, right? They're very good scribes, right? They document history. This would be a director. 
could even be an actor. Justice here, or Libra, that symbolizes business and relationships. And then we come here with the King of Swords, which, which is Aquarius and Gemini. So strong passions here. Let's take a look at the Major Arcana. We got the Star, Judgment, and the Hermit. <laughs> this could be a hidden gem. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Other High Court cards, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Queen, which is someone well-developed, someone very grounded or down-to-earth, right? This is exactly how she's looking right now, too. <laughs> and she's Asian, I think. I'm not sure. But we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Again, learning uh, to ground yourself. This could be some form of um, some form of directing or something like that. Of course, again, we spend a lot of time on social media, so this is a, someone that's found how to use it in a positive way. Again, content creators. The best medicine is often a testimony, right? We forget that these doctors, they got all these medicines and tinctures from actual natural things outside, like herbs and stuff like that. Uh, oh yeah, your other major. The magician. So someone's manifesting a better life for themselves. So. Probably into yoga or something like that. But that is what I have for you guys today. Anything else I want to mention? No. Three of Cups, the Two of Swords. This could be like shyness or someone wanting to get to know each other to bring out this. Getting to know someone to bring out this Ten of Cups. Like again, a change. It's like a complete change from one household to another or a complete change from one family to another or culture to another it could even be a re one religion or something else but like i was getting it's possibly a job or something like that so again just like me trans uh trans i get transformation right which is what i posted last night on instagram you're going from working corporate america to owning your own business right? and then you get to the, the with grounding you here because it, it seems like so basically what you have is someone that's already enjoying their work right it doesn't feel like an eight of cups where you want to walk uh, walk away from it or detach from it ghosting but not yet knowing that you have uh, responsibilities so for earth signs no wonder yeah it's a shake up in your finance because i was trying to do earth signs reading yesterday and i couldn't get it done the waves kept coming in and i just kept getting distracted so there's a shake up in someone's foundation it could be their finances or their home life possibly even their health but regardless i mean we look back on these things and they become distant memories sometimes we laugh about them sometimes we cry about them right what are you going to do drown yourself <laughs> but that is what i have for you here today earth signs like share subscribe add value to the channel catch you guys on the next one peace